Hello, and welcome back to Pandemic Plays Slender the Arrival. It's been quite some time. Um, now, I actually have already finished this game. Much to my dismay, because it turns out the capturing failed when I was recording myself playing the last two stages here. So I'm afraid you won't get to see me experiencing them for the first time. Ah! Slender man, I'm in the... I'm trying to talk here, can you... What? Thank you. Quiet now, please. Um, so, but I'm gonna play them anyway, so that you can see them. If you did want to see me playing them, even though I'm sure you could see them from, well, by watching any of the other countless Slender The Awakening playthroughs on YouTube, uh, but I may as well play them anyway. They're pretty cool. They're not very long, actually. And this one, well, in fact, both of them on normal mode anyway. They barely really even feel like gameplay. They're more like kind of interactive cutscenes. So if you will recall, at this point, I have just escaped from the mining tunnels wherein I was being chased by some crazy, mysterious, hooded individual. Here is a printed out email from K uh, two K Millens, probably Kate. Uh, K M Lens is that? How is that even in? Okay, I've tried to call you dozens of times. Where are you? Please call me back and let me know you're okay. If I don't hear back in an hour, I'm coming over there. So this could theoretically be me, perhaps. There was a, a name of a woman mentioned earlier in one of the notes. Um, Lauren, and I have a feeling that could be me. So perhaps, um, Kate went out to look for that CR person. And never came back. And her absence was noted by myself, Lauren. North Cross Hospital. Kate, leaving this note in case you wake up tonight. I'm going to assume you don't remember what happened. I came over to check on you and found you out in that park behind the house. You had a broken video camera with you and a bag full of weird drawings. I don't know what happened out there, but you're safe now. The doctors here will help you. Ah, okay. Sounds like... Kate was going a little nutty, a little kooky, kooky Kate, CR, as always, a supportive friend. Oh boy. So, you saw my first attempt at this stage, and it crashed at the end, which was a pity because it was going so well. that tower that has been my goal this entire time. Very nice to have a, a fixed point of reference to know you're getting closer to your goal. And I do very much like these, this big vista here. Glad I didn't have to go searching through those particular woods because they look rather dense and difficult to navigate and large and sprawling and lovely, of course. I think there was another note up this way. I've by no means gotten all the notes. Um, I definitely missed a few. Three, at least. It's a shame. It's a crying shame. I do cry about it. Sometimes. I cry sometimes when I lie in bed. Just to get it all out. It's in my head. Um, another email. Glad you're feeling better, but that house is too close to wait. We already read this one. Oh boy. You can get a sense of 
the trials and tribulations that poor Kate was going through. I mean, I think I would have moved into the city or something if I was getting so worried about Slenderman. Uh, or even a little bit worried about Slenderman, let alone having seen him and started drawing pictures of him. Because that is a little too much for me to handle, I would say. <sighs> if you left that flare, Kate, then... Well, someone must have been here relatively recently, before me, anyway. And we've seen this charming note before. Let's take out our good old flashlight. Note number 11. Teeth. Okay. Yes. And then we see Kate on the television. Looks like it's daytime in that shot, but then it's like nighttime. It's storming. So as far as I know, it's actually not possible to succeed uh, in closing all the windows and doors. Which makes sense to me because he's Slenderman. You can't really run and hide from Slenderman. But it seems like it's a little easier to close the windows. Slam, slam. Slam, slam. I am the master of the doors. I'm the door master. Sounds like... Hello, Slender. Man. Very determined to come in here. Uh, now I'm going to close the door behind me. I'll be safe forever. Uh, apparently not. You could have opened the window rather than dash yourself on the glass by flying through it bodily with your body. I think that's what bodily means with one's body. Okay, so now we're back here. Having seen that charming little interlude, we can calmly and collectedly continue on our way. What's back here? This is backwards. Can you see it? How did you? I'm really good at writing backwards. No more notes. I don't see any. I don't think there's anything around here for me to find. Give me all of your notes. Take note. Uh, I can't walk up a hill. I don't really need a torch. God, I've gotten lost in a straight path. Well, technically it's not that straight, but there is only one path to follow. A convenient note on a post. Yep, that house had to go. Just can't save me anymore. I don't think it could ever save you. I don't think any kind of house saves you from Slender Man. In fact, I have never heard of anything that can save you from Slender Man. I don't think you can escape from Slender Man. I'm just... I guess this person I'm controlling, Lauren, or whoever she is, should feel... Uh, glad that she doesn't know you can't escape from Slender Man. Because that's what she's trying to do. Meet me by the street in an hour. I left a list of things to bring with you. Leave everything else behind. I'll explain everything as soon as I see you. I know how to fix all of this. Don't tell Lauren about me. Who is CR? Who is this person? Don't tell Lauren about me. So it seems like... Kate 
we're kind of following in Kate's footsteps, doing the same thing she was. She was following the notes of someone else. Ha 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 Someone had a laughing fit while holding a piece of chalk, apparently. D but d d apostrophe R E helping his arrival. Thank you. Um, it's so small. It's so simple. It's so simple. So simple. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. This isn't your fault. I did this. By the time you read this, it's already too late for you. Don't let him in to any more lives. This was all my fault. This can end with you. I let him in. Why did I ever let him in? I'm sorry for placing this burden on you. I wish it was all on me. This can't spread any further. Please, it all has to end with you. I wish there was some other way it has to end. God forgive me. Ah, I sound kind of selfish there. Like, whatever you, whatever you're doing to me. Now I have to, I have to clean up your goddamn mess. Mm. So taking quite a lot of time to write all those ramblings down. So yeah, at this point. At this point, I begin to suspect that there is no safety waiting for me. Hello, Slender. I don't care about you anymore. I just want to get up to this tower. Go away from me. There's some kind of slentacles following me. This way. Or is this an incorrect way to go? I think it will suffice to get me to the tower. That strange red thing on the end. Oh god, am I on fire? I don't want to be on fire. Let me in. I want to get into the not creepy stone building thing. Safe and sound forever. Can't get me. I'm in the tower building. You can't get me. I'm safe forever. Uh, little key down here. Keys are so awesome. Someone stepping around the place. Ah, sounds like some kind of monster. Slenderman doesn't do that. Give me my torch back. Ah, looking at my face. I have a great feeling about this. Don't you? Don't you just... Doesn't this just scream... Like, niceness and joy and bliss and peace and harmony and safety forever? Camera's about to run out too. The battery. Good thing too. Because... Uh, 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 he locks. Someone locked it behind me. It was following me. It will not stop. Everything burns and melts and withers and falls apart. You are my only chance. You have to be here so I can go. You will burn with everything else. Like... 
I must burn it down. I cannot hide. I really just don't know what's going on. I can't see. Run or, or bun. Bun! Who is this dude? So there's another video camera man. <laughs> it that's the end that is slender the awakening and I do hope you have enjoyed watching me play it I apologize you didn't get to see me finish it the first time but at least you've seen it and you've seen it here if you want to see the rest of the notes that I didn't get then you could play the game for yourself um, if you want to try out harder difficulties, etc. There is a secret ending if you play it on the hardcore difficulty. I'm not going to do that because that is far too time consuming. There's also kind of extras. Hmm. Names of all the people involved making this game. Good on you, all of you doing stuff with your life it's pretty difficult sometimes to do that you know you just feel you just want to stay in and you know waste time on the internet watch some junky TV episodes yeah but you you know you, you put some effort in you, you made a game and now some guy is playing it and recording himself playing it and talking over it so you know that's something else you can add to your list of life accomplishments there were quite a lot of kind of internet looking names before but these all seem to be pretty regular legit names well I guess that is probably about it Thank you again for watching me play Slender the Arrival, and I will see you in the next game. Goodbye. <laughs>